at this point, I'm going to start doing the front angle, which I think is really important. So just if you've seen some of my other videos, I either start the continental at the front with that line or the back with this line and then join the, I don't go from the back all the way to the front or the front all the way to the back. I think you set this in and get the balance of this looking right and or the front end and get that looking right. And then once you have the balance on both ends, the middle kind of takes care of itself, right? So if you've seen some of my other videos where I say I always start at the front, I think for five years I always start at the front and now sometimes I start at the rear, as long as it's the front or the rear, right? And then, and it's also rear then front or front then rear, not rear all the way up or front all the way back. So now we're ready to go and do this front piece, right? So remember that this line that we have clippered is supposed to mimic the 45 degree layback of our shoulder, right? So 45, 45 equals a 90 degree layback, right? Straight across here. So I want this to look like that 45 degree angle. Again, I'm clipping her face um, with about a 10 blade, I hope, um, because I need to clipper her in less than a week and I want a little bit of growth there. So I'm just gonna really clean up this line a little bit for you. Okay, so once I have, this is a crucial, um, actually, before I get onto that, I'm gonna point out she is banded, right? So all of this hair is banded and up out of my way. Um, so they don't accidentally cut it off, but I'm still going to pull it over here. And basically from this midline, you know, I know my spray line is going to be about here, so I don't really trim any of this hair. Okay. Just FYI. All right. So now I want to trim this line, right? So I'm really going to pull and comb. Like there's a bit of tats in there just because I just clippered that. So that's the clippered hair falling into the main coat. Just gonna pull all this out. All right, straight shear. Okay, so this is where a lot of people make a mistake. They make this really flat because they take their straight shear and they go this way. And then they wonder why it doesn't look good and they get it super tight all the way to here. That's not what we're trying to do, right? We are combing all of this hair out. Again, we're not really combing it forward. We're just kind of combing it out. It's gonna flick forward so we let it because that's the natural lay of the hair. And if your dog was a little bit flatter coated, she's very thickly coated. If your dog was flatter coated, yours might not come out quite that much. Then I lay my shear this way, not this way, on this line. And I just cut off, just like everywhere else, I just cut off everything that sticks out over that line. I really get up nice and tight to that ear because any hair under that ear is gonna make the ear flop out, makes her neck look thicker, makes her shoulder angulation look straighter. So again, Shear straight on that line and coming straight out from that line. Maybe you want to give it a little mist with some kind of spray. I would probably be using bottoms up if she was going into the show this weekend, but because um, she isn't, I'm happy. To, and she has really, really thick coat, so I can get away with using a little bit of a different brushing spray. Now see how just that one comb out brought all that hair up again. Right? So you're not just doing everything once. You're making sure that you really get the shape of that trim in there. And I'm gonna take a little look at it. And just take that off right there and come straight up. All right, so now we have shaved this leg like kind of right at the elbow. Well, we started to, and we wanna just make sure that we're going straight at the elbow all the way around the leg. So I'm gonna take my clipper, and again, I'm not going up into the leg. I'm going straight in and then bringing that clipper down right from that point of the elbow. I don't go above the elbow. I don't go below the elbow. And I'm gonna continue this all the way around the leg. I can even just kind of cheat my clippers in between her legs a little bit just to help me. Then once I have that, you can just make sure you get off all those little hairs. And again, here's her elbow. I can just go straight in at the elbow, cheating a little bit with my clippers, making sure that I have all of that. Taken off. Then maybe I wanna comb all this down. Take my straight shear put it on that clipper line and just 
cut off everything all the way around the elbow on the inside and the outside. Okay, so there's the top of the leg. So we have this 45 degree angle, we have the top of the leg. Now we want to do the other 45 degree angle. Point of shoulder, 45 degree going back into the top of the leg. And again, we're just gonna go straight across this chest. We never wanna build out this huge chest piece, right? We don't wanna add length to our dog. We want to, don't want them to make them look like they have no front. But, I mean, she has a really pretty post sternum. We just want to make sure that it's nice and tight to that. So now we just start blending these straight lines together. I like to get this excess hair off my table. And now she's leaning a little bit. Don't lean, darling. Good girl. What a good girl. I'm just gonna, this isn't trimming. This is just, you know, training session. Her tail should be up. She's not used to my kind of training as we're trimming, but she's, you know, she's cooperative. She knows what's expected of her. She's having a hard time holding her whole tail up today. Apparently it's exhausting. All right. so. Again, I'm just going to kind of, you can see how this elbow hair wants to come out here. So again, just kind of comb it out, hold her head nice and straight. You can see how I'm holding it, the top of her nose level with the table. I'm not holding it up. I'm not holding it down. Well, I'm trying not to. So top of the nose should be level with the top of the table. She's acting like a princess. Come on, girl. There you go. And then scissors in and just taking off this elbow hair as well. Um, I'm going to go to my curve, just really help blending this in. I don't want it to look very square right through here. I want it to be nice and curved. Make sure that we can always see where that point of shoulder is going to be. Good girl. All right. So now we have like this line, which is our 45 degree angle. And we're combing up the rest of the coat and we have our underline down here. And we remember that we want this to be the deepest, widest point of our trim. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna keep wrapping around from this angle with my straight shears. I'm not pointing them in, I'm keeping them nice and flat to the coat. And I just keep going around. And once I hit this midline, then I start to slightly taper it in. I don't want the trim to be too square right at this bottom line. You notice the whole time that I'm trying to make sure that our nose is nice and level with the tabletop. And you see, I always just bring it just slightly above that midline, knowing that that's the widest point of my trim, tapering it into her underline. making sure that I have it nice and tight at the top of the leg here. And it's coming out. Again, I need a little touch up with my clipper right at the top. And again, I'm going straight in so that I'm not migrating my trim up that eighth of an inch that ends up to be an inch. 
also going to carefully hold her leg out and see where I have this armpit here. I like to use my curves backwards, so the tip going away from my dog. And then I like to just check where we are with the other side of this leg, making sure that I have it nice and tight to the elbow on the inside as well, but really stretching out. You know, this is how she, her leg's gonna be when she moves, so I wanna make sure it's cleaned out underneath there. Hi guys, thanks for joining us for our latest Leading Edge Dog Show Academy tutorial. Don't forget to go to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com to see some of our premium content and webinars where we go in depth on grooming, training, and so much more. Of course, we would love for you to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video here on YouTube. And if there's something that you would like to see that you haven't yet seen on our YouTube channel, of course, just drop it in the comments below and we'd be more than happy to bring you that content. So once again, I'm Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial.